And there are meteorologist Robert Spetta. Let's take a look at the tropics in the western Pacific. I know a lot of you have had questions about these areas. One uh, in the Philippine Sea and another way out here towards the south and east of Guam. Good news, neither are looking terribly organized at this time. In fact, this one uh, downgraded from a tropical disturbance to just a little bit of a wave there west of Guam. And guidance continues, kind of want it to fall apart. And then this area way out there near Chuk, you know, this is out into uh, the Marshall Islands. It does have plenty of time to try to organize but the good news it looks like it's going to stay very far south could increase showers there for uh, Mindanao in the extended forecast and you can just see this here the ECMWF there's our first wave kind of bringing an increase in showers Monday to Tuesday for Visayas but it's the secondary one see all the way down there actually moves it south of um a yap in Palau. I mean, they see showers but this is a very southern low now whenever we get lows this far south the big thing is the fact that it doesn't get enough Coriolis, doesn't get uh, that circulation that allows it to build up. So it remains disorganized. The rainmaker, but disorganized nonetheless. So you see that rain making here Monday over towards Tuesday with that precipitation kind of pushing on shore into the mid to latter part of the week. That also could increase inflow for areas further towards the north as well. So for even Cebu Wednesday and Thursday, I do expect an increase in showers out here for you guys. So I want to keep an eye on that. All thanks to this tropical waves as it moves over there through midweek. Not a name storm, but you know, definitely an increase in the rainfall. High pressure towards the north, though, it's going to keep areas dry in the northern Mariana Islands and even better back there towards northern Luzon, also going to be looking at some drier conditions as well. All thanks to that ridge. This is just the overall background flow. You have this jet stream that's bringing some potent weather for Japan. The strong easterly flow, which is going to keep everything towards south, kind of a straight runner. That's why I'm confident these areas will bring rain while that high pressure ridge keeps most of northern Luzon dry out there. So just kind of that increase in the rainfall for Yap, Palau, and Mindanao heading through next Wednesday. All right, so let's take a look at the bigger picture then where, uh, like I mentioned, you do have a pretty decent storm system moving across Japan this week and high pressure in behind that. But the big thing is the next one by Tuesday into Wednesday is going to bring some rather wet weather, maybe even some snowfall for northern Japan. And it kicks off a nice cool surge for Okinawa down through Taiwan in northern areas of Luzon. That won't be until next week about Wednesday into Thursday as well. So I do expect an increase in cloud cover at the least by then. So for now, Sunday, rain towards south. High pressure and sunnier skies back here in the north. Big thanks for everybody who continues to support this channel. Check out our Patreon. Link is down below. Or you can just look up Robert Spetter or Westpac Weather on Patreon to get more of that information. And at the very least, hit that like and subscribe button. I know that's corny to say that, but it, it does help the algorithm beast here. Stay safe out there.